As we start this episode of our series, I want to just take a moment and put a thought into your mind that you, you ought to keep on your mind throughout this episode. And that is that the number five is incredibly significant in our story, especially today. So without further ado, let us begin. On December 2nd, 1899, the Suwannee Tigers traveled to Atlanta to take on the North Carolina Tar Heels in front of a crowd of 2,000 people. The game was incredibly hard fought, with the Atlanta Constitution dubbing it the fiercest football contest of the season. And I mean, there's not much more to say. North Carolina, at the time, was one of the best teams in the South. They had earned their pedigree, and they had earned their spot in this championship matchup. Swanee, as we already know, comes into this game undefeated and only having been scored on by one team, and that was John Heisman's Auburn. So, I mean, this was, you know, this, this was the marquee matchup of the year, pretty much anywhere in America, but especially in the South. In the first half, North Carolina took the ball all the way to the Swanee goal line, almost guaranteeing themselves an opening touchdown. But almost miraculously, as if they had some form of divine intervention, Swanee held firm, stopping the Tar Heels on five, play, five plays. They, they ran five plays, because um, they had been penalized for offside. Five times North Carolina tried for the Suwannee goal line, and five times they were pushed back. After that close call, it was Suwannee all the way. The ball didn't leave UNC territory for the rest of the first half, but Suwannee could not find the end zone, and you gotta score a touchdown if you want to win the football game. Now, towards the end of the first half, UNC was forced to punt. Now, Orman Simpkins waved their catch, but the North Carolina right in Osborne tackled him anyway. Because of this, Sewanee was awarded 15 yards for the roughing, and they were also awarded a free kick, which was promptly put through the uprights for Swanee in their first actual field goal of the season. Now, if you think back to our very first episode, football in the 1800s was very, very similar to rugby in that a touchdown was worth the exact same amount of points as a field goal. The only difference between the two was that with a touchdown, you also, of course, had the chance for the extra point attempt. So, when Swanee kicked their first field goal of the season, it brought the lead to 5 nothing. Like I said, the number 5 is incredibly significant in our, so in our story. <clears throat> in the second half, UNC battle hall. They, they took it right to Suwannee. They controlled possession. They tried everything they could. They battled the most either team had for the entire season. And they, they, they tried and tried and tried to break the Suwannee line. But the Tigers held firm. Nothing was getting through this defense. 
It had only gotten through once all year, and it wasn't going to get through again. This was a wall that stood firm for the entire season. And when the final whistle blew, it was Sewanee celebrating themselves as 5 nothing winners. Like I said, the number 5 is significant in this story. In five games, the men of Swanee turned themselves from just the boys on the mountain to the Iron Men. In five games, the men of Swanee became legendary, accomplishing a feat that will never, ever be accomplished again. And with five points, they became champions of the South. The 1899 season is still the winningest season in Sewanee football history. That team finished 12-0, outscoring their opponents 322-10. to The SIAA championship was the second of three that the team would earn in program history. Now, today, the Sewanee Tigers are a shadow of their former losing every game in 2019. Um, and, and of course, with the outbreak of the coronavirus in the United States in 2020, their, uh, their season for this year has already been canceled. Um, but at McGee Field at Harris Stadium, that very same field that the Ironmen played on in 1899, the legend of that 1899 team still lives on. They were gladiators. They were champions. They were the Iron Men. In 1899, the Swanee Tigers played five games in six days. And on the seventh day, they rested. Thank you.